Hello, so new Refraction Railway trailer has just dropped. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so starting off, let's see, we got the three abnormalities that we will see for this railway. We got the luggage machine from one of the events, we got Fey Lantern from one of the events, and we got Wayward Traveller. Lastly, this one is, uh, I believe, Rose Garden. It is the ego gift that applies for rupture at the start of turn. And then here you get a little glimpse of a mechanic where Hong Lu is getting wrapped up and being turned into what looks like a flower um, dummy. So from Ruina experience, this is either status management or figuring out how to break out. That's usually what happens in Ruina. You either get like for example when you fight ice queen you get frozen then you need to figure out how to break out of the frozen or when you are um what's the other one? Oh, uh, when you have to manage a status so that you don't get transformed it's a bit like a spice bush in that way you don't want to get too much of that flower symbol so if you get too much of it then you actually get turned into a flower then someone needs to beat you up to break you out so that is probably what's going to happen here with this dummy i actually cannot remember what are the abnos in Ruina that actually do this specifically. Ice Queen just comes to me immediately, but I cannot think of any others that just transform you like this. Maybe Straw Puppet? No, I don't, I don't know. Don't remember. But yeah, besides that, nothing really much else shown in the trailer, but I did went ahead and collate everything that I think will be coming out for Mirror Dungeon. Sorry, not Mirror Dungeon, Refraction Railway. So first off, we got some of the... Uh, already in MD2 hard bosses. I figured that these three bosses would also make an uh, appearance in Refraction Railway. Uh, very long legs where you have to cut off his arm and then beat up his giant beanstalk at some point, but I don't remember beating up the beanstalk. I have to go and remember like what is the mechanic for this very long legs again. But he will probably make an appearance. Uh, we will definitely see a uh, talisman boy here. And we will definitely see guy with mouth on stomach. Yeah, fairy gentleman. And then we saw the four new abnos, which is the Rose Sign, Wayward Passenger, Steam Transport Machine, and Fey Lantern. Yep, so those will be the new mechanics we need to learn. I actually don't know if they will add the other three into the Refraction Railway because I don't huh it feels like the abno fights would be a bit too saturated right hmm no no but last time it was it was still pretty saturated with abno fights regardless it's, it's pretty much all abno targeting anyway so it doesn't really make a difference this would be like how many this would be one two three four five six seven so seven out of twelve would be abno fights and then the rest will be wave fights right yeah so five of them will be wave fights and those wave fights right will probably be something with the Red Sheet Gang here, with Muriel and Nico for Rose Banner. So the terrorist organization. I think T Corp might make an appearance, don't know yet. And then we'll obviously get the K Corp drones, we'll get the sloshing part of the TLA, and we'll get the Wrecking Ball robots. Yeah, so I think that should be it for all the possible appearances. Maybe we could get K-Corp to appear and I don't think we will get any of the event ones to appear. So we won't get any crabs to fight. Yeah, so it's gonna be robots, it's gonna be Rose Banner, it's gonna be TLA, it's gonna be the TLA gang. So the thing about TLA is that I believe that they are mostly weak to piercing. Even the T-Corp is weak to piercing, yeah. Uh, and then there's also quite a bit of weakness to blunt. So when you have, whenever you see a weakness to piercing or blunt, you gotta start defaulting to uh, good old Ninclair, right? 
Ninclair will make short work of any of these enemies. So Ninclair is absolutely going to be used in this mirror in this refraction railway. It's not rocket science, he just unga bungas them too hard. But yeah. Uh, besides that, what else will we use? Uh piercing, obviously, bring rabbit heath cliff. Uh, I think maybe Rose Spanner could be used in this refraction railway because there are the robots and the robots take like a double tremor damage, I think. Yeah, they have a specific status here. Uh, unit stagger threshold rises 50% more from burst so that you can one-shot it earlier because it's stagger threshold, otherwise it's at 20%, which is really, really far away. But then again, Inclair will shred it regardless. So, don't know. But I don't know. I think Rose Spanner might still be a important character, but at the same time, maybe people will figure out a more unga bunga way to clear them. Maybe bring like Fluid Sack. Mm, fluid sack and I can't really think of any other blunt because I think the robots have like a times two AOE so it's harder to AOE them down so might not be viable to fluid sack them down hmm but yeah uh, robots wise definitely Ninclair will help a lot no matter what robot it is and then for the piercing damage one there's quite a few options now we have uh, Dawn yep uh, the uh, What's his name? Sink Don. No, so, uh, Sank Don. Yeah, the French have taught me how to say it. So Sank Don will definitely be used here for sure. Uh, besides Sank Don, we also have Rabbit. Rabbit 100% because all meat to piercing. Hell yeah. This is like one of Rabbit's favorite maps. He's just going to use one skill and then kill one person every single time. So that is just going to be so fast. Besides that, mm, because... The problem with this dungeon is that they possibly will just resist slashing most of the time. Like, robots resist slashing. Uh, and this one is by 0 0.5, so it's really terrible for slashing in general. T-Corp also resists slashing by 0 0.5. Everyone else is by 0 0.5. So the problem with W Dawn is that, you know, Rip Space is slashing. Dither from W Ryoshu is also slashing. So this is also not going to be very, very good. So yeah, you're going to need to definitely bring Piercing and Blunt. That's all I figured out so far. And then for the other enemy types, for example, the enemy uh, the enemy bosses in the Mirror Dungeon. Maybe you can take a look at those. Haven't opened those up yet. Mirror Dungeon, hard. Yeah. So let's take a look at uh, some of the bosses here. So Floor 3, we can get... Floor 3, we can get Slithering, no, none of you, and maybe Floor 4? Floor 4, ah, No One Will Cry, Gentleman, and Long Legs. Let's take a look, let's see what they're weak to. Weak to Blunt, ah, Resist Slash. This one is weak to Pierce, and then, okay, there is one. Fairy Long Legs is actually weak to Slash. Yeah, okay, but the head is still weak to everything else, so you can still unga bunga it, and it's only normal weakness for everything else. So most likely, blunt and pierce will be the dominant factors in this mirror dungeon for sure. I think this might be a pretty bad dungeon for... Uh, this will be a pretty bad railway for uh, the Slash Gang W Corp. Even though they're winning, uh, doesn't look like the, resistance here, the resistances here are correct for them yeah not sure how else that we can do this shock centipede brazen bull and drifting fox maybe could appear as well perhaps this is piercing this is blunt only from what i remember and then this one is okay has a slash weakness on his head but the body is still weak to pierce yep so besides that, really not sure how the and any like of the w corp gang will be being will do when you when you bring them to this refraction railway. Hmm. Yeah, so definitely the Blunt and the Pierce gang are going to pop off in this mirror dungeon. No matter which of the bosses that I've listed all here, it could be, yeah. Should be Blunt and Pierce no matter what. So Ninclair is going to be winning. I think Encorp gang will be winning overall because they're all Blunt Pierce. And unfortunately anyone with slash doesn't look like they will have a good time in this dungeon so immediately ryoshu gone uh, well i mean okay you can you can still stagger them if you can stagger them then doesn't matter because ryoshu still does a crazy amount of damage with the skill tree but um, i don't know man the previous one definitely supported uh, any nv characters a lot but in this one the slash resistance is really going to hurt for the w corp 
yeah okay so i really can't figure it out right now not enough data but judging from what i've seen so far in terms of just the the type here not the elements if it's the elements then it's a different story but if it's just a type it looks like nin claire is absolutely going to demolish this guy here look at that it's freaking blunt and ref holy shit he's going to explode yeah I think that this dungeon is just going to be Ninclair, Ninclair, and more Ninclair with additional rabbits on the side and then uh, Sank Dawn to do more piercing. Yeah, it's looking, looking like that at least. Okay, so besides that, I have no other theories to talk about. This is all I've gotten so far. Really cannot wait to theorycraft the shit out of this Refraction Railway. Finally, some content. And I hope they extend it really long because we have so long to go before we get more content they're going to focus on their quality of life stuff so we got to wait a bit but yeah i hope the refraction railway just sticks around for a long time so i don't have to you know and uh do nothing for a long period of time okay so that is it enough whining for me thank you for watching and whatever theories you have feel free to leave a comment i'll just go and read it later all right goodbye guys and i'll see you when the coinage for the new units are out all right bye bye